Hello, my name is Aaron Fleming and welcome to yet another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the 10 best dongles you can get for USB-C for your brand new MacBook Pro 2016. I made a video about the MacBook Pro 2016 and my disappointment with it because of its loss of legacy ports. And I made that last week just after the announcement was made. And now I'm going to round up my 10 favorite USB dongles that I would get if I was getting the MacBook Pro 2016, which at this stage I feel like I probably am, so therefore I'm going to be thinking of getting these. As expected, you will be able to find all of the links to all of these dongles down there in the description, so check them out. There will be UK, Europe, and US versions available. First up, we're talking about the Juice Systems Biz Hub. This has HDMI port, three USB 3 ports, gigabit Ethernet port, and USB C pass through for charging. It also has an SD and a micro SD card slot. So the HDMI, this can output 4K picture at 30 Hz. The USB 3 are 5 gigabits per second, gigabit ethernet port, USB-C pass-through for charging. Now this is probably not powerful enough to charge the 15 inch MacBook Pro but hopefully it'll be able to charge the 13 inch um, and also SD and micro SD card. This is retailing for about $69 uh, it used to be $80, so there's a bit of a sale on at the moment. It's a nice looking one, so it's one of my favorites. Second up, we have the Griffin BreakSafe USB-C, which is like to replace this, the MagSafe. It comes with a 1.8 meter long cable, and it retails for about $30 or £30, depending on where you live. This is a great replacement for MagSafe. The only problem with it is it does stick out quite a bit, so hopefully there'll be a new version coming soon, which doesn't stick out quite as much, but if you're afraid of your laptop, falling on the ground if someone trips over the cable then this is definitely something to look at um, third up we have the Satoshi 3-in-1 pass-through it's kind of one we've always seen connected to a 12 inch MacBook that is going to be a bit awkward on the MacBook Pros because it'll probably end up blocking the second port so there may be a new MacBook Pro version coming out soon but for now we'll have to stick with this one it also has micro SD and SD card slots two USB 3.0s and it also comes in rose gold gold silver and space gray so Loads of colours to choose from to suit your new MacBook Pro. This was £37.99 in pounds. Uh, it's now £30.99. Forward up we have one of my favourites, which is the CalDigit USB-C docking station. This has 90 watt power supply, which is probably more than enough to charge a 15 watt MacBook Pro, seeing as the power supply that comes with the 15, 15 inch is an 85 watt power supply. So hopefully that's more than powerful enough. It's Thunderbolt 3 compatible. It has display output, so display port and HDMI. It can output at 4K Ultra HD at 30 Hertz. It can quick charge one of the type A USB ports. It also has a mic in and a headphone out. So if you want to expand the amount of headphone ports it has and also put a mic in, then this is for you. So to recap, this is two USB-Cs, HDMI, a display port, gigabit internet and also I think two USB 3.0 type A's. It is a bit on the pricey side because it comes in at £159 which is a bit more expensive than all of the other ones that I'm looking at but it's definitely a very useful one. It means you don't have to use the power supply that came with your MacBook. The fifth option is the Dodo Cool 4 port USB-C. This was $57, it's now $25 or else it's £19. It's a 4 port you can charge your USB-C device or so your MacBook Pro through it and it also has four USB-A connectors so this is a quite cool one. It also comes in space grey, gold, rose gold and silver so as well it suits your new space grey laptop. The sixth one is the Nanda USB-C to USB-A aluminium adapter. I think it's also known as the Hub Plus. It has a built-in battery so that even if it's not connected to your laptop, you can still plug it out and use it as a charger for say an iPhone or a phone or something like that. Um, this was 19 pound, it's now eight pound 99. So. so for that one, you get a lot for a very small amount of money. Number seven, I'm gonna go to Apple for this one. This is the Apple USB-C to your digital AV multi-port adapter. Long name, I know. It's as you expect from Apple. It's very clean design, it's white, has HDMI, USB-A, USB-C charging. Um, now, Apple's after going down with the price in these because of the backlash against the 
2016 MacBook Pros. Therefore, this is probably the perfect time to buy one of these. It also outputs Ultra HD 4K at 30 hertz as well through the HDMI port. So it's a very good one and I guess you can rely on the quality of this, but if you don't really want to give Apple more of your money, that's perfectly understandable as well. And therefore I'm gonna annoy you and if you don't want to give Apple more of your money, I'm going to annoy you with one more, but this is going to be very short. This is the Apple USB-C to USB-A adapter. Very simple adapter. It was £19. It's now reduced to, I think, £15. I think it's actually even lower again um, since I checked this last. So, also very clean. I guess you can rely on the quality as well. So if you're looking for a simple USB-C to USB-A adapter, then definitely look at this because it's very simple and especially with their new pricing, you could get yourself a bargain. Now we have this one, which is the Hutu Shuttle. Um, it has power delivery for charging, HDMI, 4K output, card reader, three USB, three ports, and it comes in silver, space gray, gold, rose gold. I think that's all of the colors. As with a lot of these, they come in four colors. So they come in the silver, space gray, gold, and rose gold, mainly to suit the 12 inch macbook but of course silver and space gray is useful for your new macbook pro as well this used to be 70 pounds it's now gone down to 55 pounds so gone down a bit in price as have a lot of these number 10 on this very short list is the wavelink 7 ports usb-c it's made out of aluminium and it has power input to give extra power to the 7 yes 7 usb-a ports yes if you need loads of ports this is great and since USB-C supports up to 40 gigabits of data transfer then this is perfect because you won't lose too much data transfer speed with this true USB-C so if you're looking for extra ports then getting this dongle is definitely for you. Anyway we've come to the end of this video I hope you enjoy if you do keep please give it a like share and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video um, if you want you can check out my music somewhere over there my vlogs and also check out my other kind of techie videos I'm only doing a few of these as certain things interest me so I did one recently about why I think that the MacBook Pro 2016 is a disappointment and why I won't be upgrading my 15 inch 20, 2015 model to the 2016 model not yet anyway not until next year when the 32 gigabyte RAM version comes out finger crossed um, anyway thank you and I will talk to you in the next video bye bye